New Delhi, CNN supporters of a young climate activist arrested in India over a farmer's protest toolkit, later shared by Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg, have called for her release. Delhi police confirmed the arrest of Disharavi, who is in her early 20s, in a tweet on Sunday that accused her of being a key conspirator in the document's formulation and disseminate the document, unsigned and publicly available on an encrypted sharing site provides a list of ways supporters can help the ongoing tens of thousands of farmers have been demonstrating for months against new agricultural laws, which they say will devastate their livelihood. Makeshift protest camps have sprung up around the capital New Delhi and workers have gone on strike and some violence has broken out on occasion, most notably on January 26, when police and protesters clashed on the street. Read more The Toolkit instructs people to call government representatives, share solidarity hashtags on social media, participate in rallies, and sign but it gained visibility after Tim Bear tweeted a link to it on February 4, crediting people on the ground in India. The move appeared to anger Indian authorities. The same day, Delhi police announced they had launched a criminal investigation into the toolkit's creators and would look to charge them with sedition, provoking or inciting a riot and criminal conspiracy. The document predates and indicates a copycat execution of a conspiracy behind the 26 Jan violence, police tweeted. The call was to wage economic, social, cultural and regional war against India. In this document, there is an action plan that, on or after January 26, there will be a digital strike and a tweet storm and also physical action on January 26, said Special Commissioner Pravir Ranjan at a news conference on Feb. Using this toolkit, people were informed on how to enter and exit Delhi. On Sunday, police accused Ravi of starting a WhatsApp group that collaborated on the document. She worked closely with them to draft the doc. She was the one who shared the toolkit doc with Greta Thunberg, police said adding that Ravi had helped spread disaffection against the Indian state. It is not yet clear whether Ravi has been charged, what sentence she may face, or when her next hearing will be. There are no publicly available court documents on her case. CNN has reached out to Delhi police to provide more information. News of Riverest provoked outrage from high-profile figures, including author Mina Harris, the niece of U.S. Vice President. Many Indian politicians, including members of the main opposition party, expressed anger and disbelief, calling Riverest shocking and a clear show of harassment and intimidation. Riverest is an unprecedented attack on democracy, tweeted Arvind Kariwal. The chief minister of debt supporting our farmers is not a crime. Thousands have signed an online petition calling for her to be. Disha is a dedicated climate activist, said one volunteer at the India chapter of Fridays for Future, a global climate activism group founded by Tim Bear. It was difficult to wrap my head yesterday when I came to know about her arrest. I was shocked. The volunteer declined to be named due to safety concerns. This leads to a lot of caution. We are asking for livable future. It is our right. The protests revolve around three new farming laws, which farmers say could. Under the previous legislation, farmers had to sell their goods at auction at their state's agricultural produce market committee, where they were guaranteed to receive at least the government agreed minimum price. There were restrictions on who could buy, and prices were capped for essential commodities. The new laws dismantled this committee structure, instead, allowing farmers to sell their goods to anyone for any price. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has argued that the reforms will modernize the agricultural industry while giving farmers more freedom to do things like sell directly to buyers or other states without but many farmers say the changes will allow big companies to drive down prices. While farmers could sell crops at higher prices if the demand is there, conversely, they could struggle to meet the minimum price in years when there is too much supply. Thunberg isn't the only recognizable name to speak up about the protests. International celebrities including singer Rihanna and NBA player Klau Kuzma have also voiced support for the Indian government has bristled at the celebrity attention, sharply criticizing those voicing support for farmers. Before rushing to comment on such matters, we would urge that the facts be ascertained, and a proper understanding of the issues at hand be undertaken, said a spokesperson for the Ministry of External affairs on February 3rd. The temptation of the sensationalist social media hashtags and comments, especially when resorted to by celebrities and others, is neither accurate nor response. Some activists see Riverest as an extension of the authorities' hardline stance against those supporting. Ravi was arrested for educating people on the farmers' protest and how best to support, in a democratic, peaceful way, tweeted Trisha Shetty an Indian activist for human rights and gender equity. Shame on our government for trying to silence the best of our youth.